was searching my entire life, and I was thinking, God, it's Doctor Who, he's made up, and I have to read a book about frogs. <laughs> uh, I see where you're going. Let's take another question from the floor, shall we? Breathe, man. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. America wants the Doctor Who experience. Yeah. Will you bring the Doctor Who experience to America? <laughs> I'm very happy to ask our colleagues at BBC Worldwide if they will bring the Doctor experience to America. Or failing that, just yeah. fly to Cardiff. Yeah. And we're right there. It's a lovely time. It's, it's a lovely time. Yeah, perhaps you should. It rains a lot, though. I think, I think the more, the more people who watch Doctor Who in America, the more likely it is. Life yeah. will happen. The more success the show comes, the more likely it will happen over time. Mm. It's about money. Can I ask the uh, what question you have? The lady in the understated frock. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> or you're casting for Doctor Who, what are, the Doctors are all different, but what are the adjectives that you use that are, are all of them? Um, I think, well, there is only one Doctor. Uh, he has lots of different faces, but he's always the same. I mean, he's, he just, he, he's the most, he lives in the moment all the time. He never really looks back, because if he did, he'd be staring all day. He's a, he's, a, he's a creature of the moment right now. As a time traveler, I suppose everything is happening to him at once anyway. Uh, the other thing is that I, mean, I, I sort of think he's every age at once as well. He's a child, he's a stroppy teenager, he's a middle-aged boar, he's a grumpy old man, all at once, all those things at the same time. And it's, it, it is, the, the actor which uh, I think uh, Matt today has done the best uh, is to, uh, child so that you see them both all the time in every second that he's on there he doesn't he's not he doesn't know he's the hero he'd be really surprised to know there's a show about him he just thinks he's larking about and trying to get to a fairground he's quite he'd be quite surprised if he discovered that he was actually the hero of an early evening Saturday adventure show I suppose we'd all be surprised by that uh, he's uh that's what he is he's, he's a big kid and an old man at the same time you, you are uh, I mean uh Presumably going through the process of getting through Matt's replacement right now or casting. Yeah. And, uh, or maybe you've done that. And maybe no, I haven't done it yet. No, okay, because yeah. I'm just, you know, if you had any news for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one would tell, would we tell anyone? No, we, no, hey, 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 relax. Now, uh, <laughs> another question from the floor? Hello. Hi. Hi. Episodes as a special guest appearance. Uh, well, you can't put everybody in the 50th. Do you know how many? He's been going for a very long while. And how do you know what is or is not in the 50th? Exactly. You've seen a trailer. And I have lied my arse off for months. You know nothing, so don't make presumptions. Then we won't. As simple as that. Boring answer, but the truth. <laughs> Young lady. Hello, Doctor. Hello. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Name's Ah Honey. What is it you call me? this huge show that's changed people's lives and it's amazing and incredible and it's lasted so long so I wanted to ask everyone what changed what did Doctor Who change about your life the way it's impacted ours? Wow, God, it changed everything. It changed my life and my family's life and um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm proud and, and grateful part of it. I've got some of my closest friends, uh, you know, from having worked on the show. And, and you know, also, just because I am 
on the way out. I just wanted to say uh, thank you for all your support and, and, and encouragement. Uh, thank you. Hi, Jed and Matt. 
means it has the only movie it has. When you think of a joke, you just think of a thing that makes you laugh. Right. It, it, it's it's uh, witless and pointless to try and work out what other people like, especially complete strangers, especially several million complete strangers. I absolutely uh, write Doctor Who, as Mark does, as we all do, uh, just for what I would like to see in Doctor Who. Right. And, and I know I've got it right if I think, I wish I could now have my brain wiped so I could just watch it. Yeah. Let's um, take another question from the floor. The gentleman in the sparkling jacket. Yes. Uh, my name is Tony. Uh, to, re to represent the amazing Doctor Who cosplayers and to commemorate Matt, your amazing uh, 11th Doctor, I've crafted this 11th Doctor jacket out of exactly 11 Comic Con swag bags. <laughs> Turn, though. 